After a very long time of waiting, finally the news about War Mains Onyxia. Onyxia, the Realm of Legends, experience vanilla TBC and Wrath of Lich King in one realm. This is the official release announcement for Onyxia. Onyxia will enable you to enjoy three iterations of World of Warcraft. Vanilla, The Burning Crusade and Wrath of Lich King. Onyxia is based on our previous realm, Frostmourne which taught us a lot about how to create a fun and engaging seasonal realm. We have listened to your feedback and suggestions and improved our realm design accordingly. So I'm expecting some changes compared to what the initial announcement was few months back. Realm design. Experience rate of times 3 with ability to lower it at will. I think this was times 5 if I'm not mistaken. So it looks like they lowered it. Times 3. It's going to be a long, long time until I hit max level, if I ever do it. But I'm willing to give it a try and have almost the legitimate vanilla experience. Wrath of Lich King client, save me. You'll be able to experience the original spells, talents and mechanics, gear stats and functions of each expansion without having to switch your standard WoW client that you own and used to play on Warmain Realms with. Yes, so for those of you that do not know, you can use the actual Wrath of Lich King client that you're used to from Warmain's Ice Crown, Lordaeron, Blackrock and Frostmourne. It will work even though the actual expansion will be vanilla or TBC before Wrath of Lich King arrives to Onyxia. As well as all the add-ons, you can use Wrath of Lich King add-ons for 3.3.5 and all your UI modifications which I'm super happy about that I don't have to switch a single thing outside of the spells in my bars obviously and maybe a few macros. Quality of life features requires the standard client you already use to play other Wrath of Lich King War Main Realms. 40 man raids will be set to 25 man, that's a good call. Dual specialization, thank god. Dungeon Finder, achievements, arenas. We'll have arenas on vanilla. That's, I think, something new. I don't think any other server would have vanilla arenas. That's going to be interesting. The realm state will be set to PvP. Ooh, I can already see the comments. <laughs> there is no rank decay for the honor PvP system. This means you can keep your rank and rewards without having to grind every week. Marketplace similar to Ice Crown slash Frostmourne model. We already discussed that in a previous video. Character trading and the trading system available as on Lordaeron. Each expansion season will have a set duration. The content of each season will be divided in tiers. The content of the first tier will be available on day one. Every few months the content will progress further. Onyxia will launch on November 18th, 2023, so in about basically in exactly a month from now with this schedule of phases november 18th phase zero will start with realm opening and raids closed november 25th so one week after the launch phase one will introduce molten core onyxia's lair diremol azuragos and kazakh january 27th so some two months after phase one Arrives Phase 2 will bring Blackwing Lair and Darkmoon Fair. February 24th, one month later, Phase 3 will add Zul Group and Green Dragons. March 30th, another month later, Phase 3.5 will begin the preparations for the AQ Gates. April 27th, Phase 4 will unleash on Karaj, depending on player progress. And June 29th, Phase 5 will culminate with Nax Ramus. So it looks like we're getting some kind of a phase unlock every single month almost. And Phase 5, final phase, arriving on June 29th. September, October, we could be expecting TBC then, probably. Realistically, September, October. It looks like they don't want to wait for too long and they want to keep players busy. So I don't think it would take even an entire year to go through the entire vanilla content on Anixia. Which would probably make sense because people get bored really fast in those older expansions. 
Arena seasons will be featured in their own respective forum threads. Okay. I was wondering. We are confident that we can deliver a high quality realm that will satisfy all kinds of players. Except those that don't like PvP realms. In world PvP. We'll see what they do about that. I would like to see some restrictions in terms of what kind of levels can attack you. Like, I would like to see it being restricted, for instance, a player that is five levels above you and more cannot attack you in world PvP. I think that would be smart, because at that point it's not really world PvP, it's just straight up ganking and griefing. All of the work invested in this realm will also benefit our other realms where appropriate. We hope you join us on our next journey. Kind regards, Warmane. All right, so only a month from now, November 18th, mark your calendars, Onyxia Live Launch. They did it. It's going to happen in 2023. November 18th, that's Saturday. Saturday, November 18th, 2023. They didn't say the exact time, but I guess it's going to be some afternoon hours for EU. Yeah, so no real surprises as far as I can see. Arenas are great. I definitely, that's one of the features that I miss the most on vanilla, not having arenas available. It's probably going to be extremely imbalanced, but I'm looking forward to it anyway. I hope to actually get to experience it at max level because the experience rates of times three are going to be pretty rough. But on the other hand, I'm kind of looking forward to experience the vanilla world and actually leveling questing in Azeroth. And I'm sure there's a big chance that Battlegrounds will be a good way to level. Although I don't know if the XP would be boosted on Warmain. Because I remember I used to level in Frostmourne in BGs, but I don't remember how much XP it would give me. And of course, Dungeon Finder is a huge help. Combined with dual talent specialization, so you can have those hybrid tanks, healers, Tank DPS, healer DPS. However, I think it's probably going to be expensive. We're probably looking at those 1000 gold to purchase dual specialization. Especially since this is war main and it's very likely there's going to be gold in the auction house. On the website available to purchase. So I assume they're going to make it pretty expensive to get the dual specialization. So people actually donate for gold and buy gold off of the marketplace. Look, it's gonna be pay to win. It's gonna be something between the Ice Crown and Frostmourne model of marketplace, which is very, very pay to win. But hey, if they can really keep it going for those three-ish years, going through all the three expansions and maybe even more potentially in the future, it is a very long-term plan and it will require a lot of money Let's go through the comments, what people say. Awesome, sad about the XP change, but it's an okay-ish change. Finally, we got real announced. Good choice to change XP rate from times five to times three. It will be more fun to play. Yeah, I'm sure many people are gonna be happy about this change. And you can still lower it down to times two, times one even. So if that's what you like, you have the choice of uh, lowering it even further. Hope rates increase for later phases, but times three should be fine. Disappointed about the PvP realm rule set, but it was unfortunately expected. As I say, uh, I like world PvP. I think it should be a part of the game. But if there's a huge level disparity, I don't think we can call it world PvP. Amazing. Now please give us rated BGs instead of farming on 100 hours a week for rank 14. Rated BGs would be cool. I would love to see that. Will the beta characters remain on the server or is it a fresh start on November 18th? It's obviously a fresh start. That's how beta testing realms work. What happens to this Onyxia realm after it reaches final phase Wrath of Lich King content? It becomes another Lordaeron realm but with 3 times XP rates? What makes it different to Lordaeron and Ice Crown other than starting at vanilla and progressing to Wrath of Lich King? That's a good question. What makes it different is what you just said the progression that's something you don't get on any other world of warcraft private server nowadays i don't think they would merge it with lordaeron because lordaeron is times one so it would be 
a bit unfair to get characters with times three XP, right? Over to Lorian on. So more likely the outcome would be that the characters after Onyxia's progression is finished, the characters would go to Ice Crown Realm, most likely. But that is still at least two and a half years away. So until then, a lot of things can change. Not many surprises, I would say. Pretty much what we've been expecting. I'm definitely looking forward to Onyxia by Warmane. I definitely want to be there on launch day and hopefully live stream it for you. If you want to see what it's like on launch day, join me on the live stream that will be happening on November 18th. And if you want to get notifications about when I'm going live, you can join the Discord community server that we have. Link is in the video description as well as link to Mad Monk, my sponsor. If you want to support me and use products like these, link is also in the video description. Are you going to play on Onyxia? Is the PvP rule set big turnoff for you or is it the pay you to win? Are you hyped about arenas as much as I am? And what about the XP rates? I'm looking forward to the discussions in the comments. <laughs> I will see you on Warmane. Onyxia.